part of the reason I wrote this book was to think about the way I live my life because I like I'm sure many many people when I was a kid had all kinds of moral uh, a sense of moral obligation and also moral ambition a sense that I would live my life in a very good way and I didn't do that I did something I love which is writing and I've never been quite comfortable with that decision and so part of writing this book was for me examining that the road that I didn't take to see well these people who actually hold true to the principles that many of us have as children but then abandon what do their lives look like what are these people like and is it a joyful thing to them to have such an extraordinary sense of purpose? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I mean, one of the puzzles I went into this book with was, why don't most of us give more? I don't think it's a puzzle, why aren't most of us like these people? Because they really are extraordinary, and I don't think um, all of us are capable of such extreme sacrifices and, and dedication. But I do think it's a puzzle, why don't most of us give more? Because it makes you happy. Everybody knows that giving even a small thing like a seat on the bus or a little bit of money, it makes you happier than keeping it, almost usually. Um, and that is another reason why I thought I want to investigate the history of suspicion towards such people because I think the suspicion of do-gooders is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons, that we don't give more than we do because there is no longer if there ever was an uncomplicated sense that becoming such a person is a wonderful thing. It it's, makes us uncomfortable. We're not sure we would want to live that kind of a life. And that's a barrier to something that already has so many barriers erected in front of it, giving more to other people.